God doesn't encourage his children to remain sexually pure and avoid lust because he doesn't want us to experience pleasure. He's doing it because of the way that it taints our spirit outside of the sanctity of marriage. Whether or not you want to agree with that, it's true. If any Christian tries to tell you that masturbation and sex is okay, they're wrong, they're being deceived, they're being lied to. There's a reason he wants us to remain strong, because we are not slaves to our fleshly desires, and each time that you masturbate, you are essentially telling God, I choose this desire over spending time with you. I choose this desire over believing that you have the power to take me away from it. If you believe in God's power, then you believe in his words about sexual impurity. Please, guard your eyes and guard your heart, because the more you guard your eyes and guard your heart, you won't even want to do that. And when you do it, you'll feel guilty. God convicts you. Ask for that conviction and he will. Next time you decide to sleep with someone, okay, ask yourself if you are really interested in catching that STD that spiritually transmitted demon because that is what it is sex is a spiritual act which is why it creates worlds ultimately children are the result of this act when we sleep with people we connect ourselves to their spirit to their energy it's transferable okay you create cords between you and that person and if you are sleeping with someone who is not right up here not right in here hasn't healed from their past traumas you are going to catch whatever demonic energies they have been dealing with and after that sexual act you are going to de be depleted so ask yourself next time do you want that std When you decide to have sexual intercourse with someone, okay, what you have to realize is that you are creating a contract between you and that person on a spiritual soul level. The penis is pen, okay, goes inside your womb and the walls of your womb become a platform for the penis to create geometric patterns and inscribe signatures an agreement between you and that person so if you are having sex with random people and you both have not agreed what the contract is going to be before you have sex then unknowingly to you or to that person what may be in that contract may be detrimental to yourself on not only a physical level but also a spiritual emotional and soul level that you might not be able to come out of that contract for thousands of lifetimes preach how many of you people would masturbate with your biological father in the room watching you yeah you laugh at that because of course you wouldn't do it but why do you do it when god's watching why do you do it when god's watching why is that why is that i can turn mine up more it's okay hallelujah glory to god so my friends, you need to turn from your sin, turn to God. Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive. He can hear you. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Give him glory. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. You're going to bow your knee to Jesus. He's going to return with eyes of flaming fire. And he's going to snatch up and send the wicked down to the pit where they belong. He's going to separate the sheep from the goats. That's what Jesus is going Are you a sheep or are you a goat to God? Jesus has come to separate the sheep from the goats.